mic is here again. So I'm hoping that we can get this done today, guys. So um apologize for the uh, last few videos. If you couldn't see them, my granddaughters wanted to help me. So figure the part that uh, we did wasn't too bad as far as fumes. So I went ahead and let them uh, jump in there and do a little filming. Help me out a little bit. <clears throat> um, okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit. I really wanted to get more of that liquid out, but I, I just couldn't do it. So, now I'm going to add some uh, hydrochloric. And I hate how shaky that is, but I got to have this outside because of the fumes. Um, so as of right now, that's it. I'm going to let this heat up and then we're going to hit it with some uh, uh, poor man's AR. And uh, we'll continue on. And, and guys, I'm really hoping to keep this video together. I'm trying something new with my phone. If not, I guess we'll have to keep doing it in sections. Mike's out. Be right back. Okay, good. Oh, hold on. Had to turn the music off in the background. YouTube don't like that. So, guys, what I have here is potassium nitrate. And, you know, I doubt that might be a tablespoon's worth. Um, I really hope I'm not putting too much in. It's a pain in the ass when you get too much nitrate. So, let's go on over here. Got our, uh, got our solution warmed up now. And, uh, now the sun is so bright, guys. So, I hope you're able to, uh, see this. So, so all I'm going to do is take this off. All right, so you guys see what I got in there, right? All right, let me turn around here for just a quick. All right, hang on. All right. So there was a little bit left in there and I went ahead and just put it in. So take a quick glance down in. Now take uh, probably about 10 to 15 minutes for the nitrates in that to warm up and then we should start seeing the uh, uh, familiar red vapors of uh, nitri nitrous, di nit nitrous dioxide. Yeah. All right, guys, I got to get back to work here. I'm putting together a load for the scrapyard tomorrow. So I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, guys, so wanted to show this to you. That's another reason you never want to uh, have uh, put too much nitric in at one time because it does foam up and sometimes it can lead to a uh, boil over. Nitric is really bad about, uh, you know, just a little bit at a time and then all of a sudden, bam, it just takes off. So, uh, you know, when you get a foam build up like this, one thing you can do, if you can see, there's a little bit red, is you can spray it down. But one problem when you do that is you're diluting you're diluting your solution and as you remember we started with a diluted solution. So uh, basically what this does is it speeds up the amount of time it's going to take to uh, 
finish the experiment. So, uh, as you can tell, I got a uh, catch basin here, just in case it does go out of, uh, start to get crazy. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. We do got a red tint in there showing, and that's the uh, nitrous dioxide, you know, uh, escaping as the uh, gold is, you know, put into solution. And, uh, you know, here later on I'll show you, basically that's how you test to see if you're done, is uh, looking, if you put nitric in and no more nitrous dioxide comes off, then uh, there's nothing else for it to react with. So uh, right now we're going to go ahead and cut off and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so we're back again. Um, it seems as though we've quit reacting. This was pretty red a little bit ago, but it's calmed down. Now one thing I do before I add any more is give it a quick stir. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of gold in there. Uh, let, let me set this down for just a second, sorry. <coughs> Alright, now, as you know, respirators are good, but they do not protect you from nitrates. Always remember that. I know it's kind of a breezy day. So I'm trying to stay uh, downwind of it, you could, so to speak. So as you can see, now, see how it reddened up in there again? This is why we stir, you know. I don't know how much uh, nitrate still left in there, but if I would have put more nitrate in and it reacted, you know, it can start a chain reaction and boil over. So. You know, at this stage of the game, you really want to be careful because this stuff boils over, you know, there's a chance you could lose some real value. So, all right, we're going to pause again for a minute. All right, guys, so looks like our uh, nitrous has settled down a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Whoa, nowhere near that much, though. got here is about <clears throat> uh, three quarters of a teaspoon now this time I'm gonna put it in you know what I don't even want that much yeah that'll do that'll do this time, I'm going to liquefy it. Guys, <clears throat> here's my safety warning. I really don't recommend you guys getting into this. Um, it's a cool hobby to learn, but um, at the same time, you know, it's dangerous, you know, whenever you're doing it, like, you <clears throat> can't really spend that much time with your family with this. I mean, we, maybe when they get older, I could. <clears throat> and, you know, like, I can't have my animals out right now. Fear they could run and knock over the, uh, um... Oh, 
oh my gosh, what do you call that thing? Knock, knock over the heater, get caught on the line. That dirt's on the bottom there. All right, so we're clear. I'm gonna go for it. All right. <clears throat> Now, in the future, I may show, uh, may figure out how to do a time lapse of this stuff so I don't have to keep turning it on and off. But uh, as of right now, we'll be back. So, I just wanted to show you guys <clears throat> you can see that red now. Um, it's only been in there for one minute. All right, one minute. And it starts reacting like that. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's settled down quite a bit, and uh, it's been 15 minutes or so. It. Uh, I decided to go ahead and stir it. And as you can tell, it's starting to darken up down there at the bottom. I know there's a lot of copper in this. There's going to be uh, some lead, um, which uh, I'm hoping my phone will hold out so I can cover all the processes, you know, to get rid of the uh, extra stuff in there. You know, so uh, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm going to show you a couple revealing things. So I've had a couple, added probably about a tablespoon since the last time we talked. But I wanted to show you something. And one is, let's get some fluid off of the top there. All right, you guys see that? Okay, what that is, is a couple things. That shows you that you have to have some kind of watch glass on there or you will lose values. Two, that stannous chloride is two years old. Just a note for thought, you know. So, all right, I'll get back to you. I don't know what we're doing. I'm looking for some red here. I haven't seen any come up in a while. So I think I got to add a little bit of hydrochloric um so i'll get i'll do that and i'll get back to you i gotta get some lunch too all right guys so my last uh last addition of hydrochloric and nitric has produced no more results so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and shut it off we're going to let it cool down a little bit, and then we're going to filter it. And uh, I'll get back to you guys then. And I think I'm actually going to stop this video now, and we'll continue with the next one here in a little bit. Thanks, guys.